Has anyone ever beat you up with the Bible or specific verses in the Bible? Let's talk about the verse that is most often used to Bible beat people, speaking the truth in love. I wanna show you the softer side of this verse, something I honestly hadn't seen before. I wanna acknowledge how the verse is inappropriately used by some Christians, then give you another way to look at it and show you how helpful and kind and encouraging Ephesians 4.15 can be. This can totally change your relationships for the better. I can't believe it's taken me 25 years to see a different way of reading this verse. I often hear Christians apply the idea of speaking the truth in love as a command to tell other people when they're acting sinfully, or a command to confront, correct, and rebuke, a call for tough love. It's the whole idea that's attributed to Mark Twain that truth hurts, but silence kills which in some cases is true. But for now, let's take a step back and look at the context. When we consider verse 14 with verse 15, the Bible is saying just that. It's loving to correct your friend when it's for their own good. The metaphor of a young person at sea struggling in the storm of false religious teaching most definitely teaches that it's loving to remind people of the truth they once ascribed to. This is also consistent with the Bible's teaching that wounds from a friend can be trusted. However, however, rebuke and correction is not the only way to apply speaking the truth in love. Let's take another step back and get even more context and look at the verse that follows verse 15, the whole speak the truth in love verse. Look at this. The body is building itself up in love. Why do we miss that? Speaking the truth in love, we easily see but why do we miss the idea of building others up in love? Building someone up is just another way to say encouraging someone. So let's apply speaking the truth in love in another completely legitimate way, but also an imposing way. Let's speak the truth in love by encouraging one another. Let's see the truly wonderful things in others and speak up about it. Let's see the goodness that they can't see in themselves and point it out to them. Have you ever had someone believe in you when you didn't believe in yourself? Have you ever had someone see something in you that you didn't realize was there? What happened when they spoke the truth over you? For me, it changed me. It changed the way I saw myself. It changed the way I acted. I started taking new risks, putting myself out there when I used to shrink back. I wouldn't have become a pastor, a church planner, a dad, or an Iron Man if it wasn't for someone who saw something in me I didn't see in myself. And they lovingly spoke up and encouraged me. Be that type of person, the type of person who lovingly encourages others by speaking the truth in love. That's not the whole story with this verse. Next week, I'm gonna talk about what to do when you find yourself in a situation where the person you love needs to hear the hard truth. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video. And check out this video where I will bless you and encourage you to intentionally build others up. Be blessed, my friends.